Hi everybody, time for our video conversation. Tax reform, of course, continues to be the major topic of the day. Fixing a broken tax code is a top priority. I took a listening tour last week, visiting with a lot of small businesses in our community throughout Minnesota and the western suburbs. Looking forward to hearing your stories about how tax reform will continue to be able to help you as well. Watch for that in the near future. You can check out my social media if you'd like to check out some of the institutions around the cities that weren't around the last time we did tax reform, like the Mall of America did not exist the last time we did tax reform. Let's get to our questions. Actually, the first is from Gail in Wyzetta, who sent in an email. She says, Dear Congressman Paulson, when you ask Israeli defense officials what keeps them up at night, they often answer with one word, Hezbollah. This Iranian-backed terrorist army has stockpiled over 150,000 missiles and rockets that can strike every city in Israel. Hezbollah is ruthless. Like all terrorist groups, they need money to operate. That's why one of the best tools we have to combat these groups is to target their funding. The Hezbollah International Financing Prevention Amendments Act would do exactly that. Please support it and work to limit Hezbollah's source of funding. Sincerely, Gail. Gail, thanks for writing. Actually, you'll be pleased to know this legislation just passed in the House with bipartisan support this week. It does impose additional sanctions to curb the influence of Hezbollah, which is an international terrorist organization. It curbs the influence by making sure we're sanctioning any foreign persons, governments, or any institutions that are helping finance Hezbollah, which targets Israel and other uh, entities within the Middle East. Next up is a phone call that comes in from Richard and Edina, who called in and basically said this past summer, Hennepin County was able to charge a drug dealer with third degree murder because he sold heroin to an individual who overdosed. What's Congress doing now to address the ever-growing opioid epidemic? Richard, thanks for calling in. Uh, drug uh, overdose has killed about 64,000 people in the United States last year, but 15,000 of those were from heroin. 20,000 were from fentanyl. And so so we passed legislation, this is a long title, the International Narcotics Trafficking Emergency Response by Detecting Incoming Contraband with Technology Act just this week. Bipartisan support. What it does is it gives more resources to our U.S. Customs and Border Patrol agents to making sure they've got scientific tools and scanning technology available to source chemical or synthetic opioids that are coming in from Mexico and China. It's one way to destroy and interrupt the supply chain that is hurting so many people here in the United States. Thanks for joining in this week. Continue to reach out anytime with your questions, your thoughts, your ideas at paulson.house.gov or of course on Twitter, uh, on other social media like uh, Instagram or Facebook and have a great weekend and a great week.